Yes, Officer Rufus, a carnival in Brookhaven sounds incredible. Oh, yes, it does. It sounds like so much fun. I love the popcorns and the Ferris wheels and also all the other rides that I like to ride until I get sick, y'all. Yes, yes, yes. That sounds great. I'll fund the entire thing. Don't worry about it. Everyone will have a great time. Hello, excuse me. I couldn't help but over here. You were talking about a carnival. Oh my goodness, who is this little lady? Hi, my name is Asifa Rufus, y'all. Who is you? Oh, you don't know who I am? I'm the baby trillionaire, Annie, and I own everything now. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Um, say what now? Oh uh, yeah, what are you talking about, trillionaire Annie? My name's Bart, I'm the baby billionaire here in Brookhaven. What's going on here? Oh, a billionaire, how cute. I remember when I was a billionaire, Anyway, I am a trillionaire, and uh, this town is my ultimate playground. So, yeah, enjoy that. Yeah, no, see, you can't do that, okay? This town's filled with very nice people, okay? There's people that live here. You can't take advantage of that. Oh, but funny thing is, yes, I can. When you're a trillionaire, you can do absolutely anything you want. And I am going to start by kicking out my biggest threats first. And guess what? Uh, what? I'm kicking you out, Bart. <laughs> Goodbye, baby billionaire. <laughs> yeah, right. You can't kick me out. No way. Oh, yes way. How many times do I have to say this before it gets through your big, dumb head? I want golden sprinkles, triple scoop chocolate ice cream, and I want it now. Uh, yeah, sorry, little lady. Listen, um, we don't have that type of ice cream here. Are you serious? In my town? Do you understand who I am? Uh, I don't understand a lot of things, miss. So, no, I have no idea. Sorry. Oh, you are just the most stupid, stupid ice cream worker ever. Get out of this store. I want to see your face never again. What? You're, you're kicking me out? But I, but I work here. I don't care. I own this town and I want you out of it. Oh, you're mean. <laughs> you're a loser. Get out. Well, 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 look at this. Kicking people out of their jobs, making them cry. <laughs> I like, Lord, like your style. Oh, well, thank you, man with a funny accent. Um, who are you? My name is not of importance to you, but it seems you are a very, very wealthy person as well, yes? Oh, yes. I'm a trillionaire, so <laughs> I'm very wealthy. And I am going to buy Brookhaven. Oh, well, I like your plan. Trillionaire, huh? Yes, lots of money. Say, I'm a very wealthy businessman myself. How about you say we become business partners, yes? Oh. Well, I've never run a business before, but sure, sounds great. Yes, it's perfect. I'll build up contract for you to sign. Don't worry. <laughs> yes, very wealthy people must stick together, yes? That's true. You can send it over to my assistant. She goes by the name Mother. Yes, yes, this is great. I see lots of good business in our future, yes. I can't believe it. How could she kick me out of Brookhaven, Officer Rufus? I built this city. Oh my goodness, Bart. Relax, okay? It's gonna be farms. People get kicked out of this city all the time, y'all. You're gonna be back in like a minute. Honestly, just don't leave. Yeah, no, it's not okay, Officer Rufus. It's not okay. It's the principle of the thing. I'm the baby billionaire. Who, she thinks she's better than me because she's a trillionaire? Who cares about that? A billion's good, too. Okay, Bart, you be throwing out lots of words that is very big, and it's hard for me to understand. Well, Officer Rufus, I don't know what to tell you, okay, man? But all I know is that I am not putting up with this. I need my revenge. Okay, I heard that words, and I know that real good. Revenge is not good, y'all. Don't, don't worry about it. Everything's going to be fine. Nothing's going to be fine, Officer Rufus. I'm so stressed out. This is the most stressed a baby billionaire has ever been. Bart the baby. Yeah, I'm Bart the baby billionaire, sir. What can I help you with, okay? It's obvious that me and my friend are in a very stressful situation right now. Uh, yeah, don't care. You're coming with me. 
What? No! I, I don't even know who you are! I don't have a name. Come with me immediately. Oh my gosh, Officer Rufus! I don't know what to do! Oh, Bart, I'm so glad that you were able to join me. I really, really would love to become friends with you. You know, a billionaire and a trillionaire. Yeah, that's great, that's great. But you think you can pull a fast one on me? I know what you're up to, Annie. I didn't become a billionaire by being stupid. Whatever do you mean, Bart? I just really would love to be your friend. I can't believe how great you are at lying. You should be an actress or something. But I'm not putting up with this, okay? Maybe you should just leave town. We don't need rude trillionaires here, okay? We've got everything under control. I was just trying to be your friend. And here you are trying to kick me out of Brookhaven. Oh, no, 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 you stupid billionaire. <laughs> that will not happen. Because guess what? Oh, and what would that be? Well, you see, now that you've made me mad, I've decided that I'm going to buy out your father's company so I can control everything. <laughs> Joke's on you, loser. I gotta say, you got a wild imagination, okay? That's never gonna happen. You're really funny, Bart, but uh, sorry. This is the way it's gonna be now. Um, hi, Finkenberry, what is going on here? Why is you in the police stations? You don't work here no more. Yeah, listen, um, I'm here to find my extra lean cuisines. They must be in the fridge somewhere. Finkenberry, we threw them out like weeks ago, y'all. What now? Why would you do that? Listen, Finkenberry, that is besides the points, okay? I kind of need your help on somethings. <laughs> You think I'm gonna help you, you toothless wonder? <laughs> yeah, no, not gonna happen. She, I'm a very busy celebrity. I got lots of stuff to do. Think of Mary, that is not true. That's the biggest lie I've ever heard in my lives. You is not populums at all, okay? But the point is that there's another baby trying to buy out Brookhaven's, y'all. Uh, is this supposed to be my problem? I, I, I don't get it. Officers, how are you on this wonderful day? Oh, think of Mary. This is the baby I was just talking about. Okay, yeah, great. Once again, not my problem. I just want to say that I took a break from counting all of my trillions of dollars to come down here and share some wonderful news with you. Oh my goodness, is your pottle finally gonna stop charging extra for guacamole, y'all? Ew, and only poor people eat at Chipotle. But I am here to tell you that you are both Fired from your jobs. <laughs> How great is that? What? You can't just fire Ossifer awesome Rufus like that. No, why? How, how did you have that authority? Well, you see, I'm a trillionaire. I bought Brookhaven. And what I say goes. So, bye. Enjoy your life having no job. <laughs> this is so funny. You're out of a job, toothless wonder. <laughs> oh, you see, funny bearded man. Um, you're also fired, so yeah, you could both be unemployed together, how cute. Yeah, that would be fun and all, except I actually don't even work here, so whatever. <laughs> Joke's on you, dum-dum. Oh my goodness, this is the saddest day of my lives. What am I gonna do without my job, y'all? Hello, father. Hey, it's me, your little girl, Annie. You know, the baby trillionaire. Oh, Annie, yes. Hello, hi. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's great to hear from you. Uh, what's what's going on? What's happening? Oh my gosh, Dad, I just cannot wait for you to get home and I am going to show you my brand new playground. Oh, it's fantastic. You are going to love it. Jonathan, cancel that meeting and also reschedule that meeting for next week because I've got three meetings going on. I'm actually I'm on a meeting right now. Okay, I'm sorry, Annie. What's going on? Dad? You're not listening to me. Did you hear anything that I said? Annie, I'm very sorry. See, I'm on the private plane right now flying to Beijing. That's in China, Annie, okay? We're doing business with China now. Dad, so you didn't hear about how excited I am to show you my new playground? Yes, Annie, that's great and all and everything, but listen, I've got a lot of stuff going on. You know, As you know, I'm a very busy man making a lot of money, so I've got to go, but it was a, it was great catching up with you, hon. Talk to you later, all right? Talk to you in like a month or so. Okay, bye. All I want is my father to be proud of me, and he won't even pay attention to me. Oh, he's the worst. He's always ignoring me. Oh, I don't know. I 
Maybe one day he'll care. <laughs> Now, excuse me, sir. Thank you so much for helping me today. Um, I just need to move some money out into a different account so I can get out of town. Uh, yes, yeah, sir. No problem. Let's just check your account here and, uh, oh. Oh, um, this is, uh, <laughs> this is kind of awkward. What, how much money I have? I know, I know. It's, it's shocking how many billions of dollars I have. Uh, no, sir. Your account is completely empty. There's absolutely no money left. What are you talking about? I can't believe you. I actually have to ask you for your card and keep it and destroy it. That's how much money you don't have. No, this can't be. How can I have no money left? I'm a billionaire. Oh, sure you are, little guy. Yeah, yeah, we're all billionaires, aren't we? Gosh, this must have been Annie. Hello, y'all. Officer Rufus, Annie has taken all my money away from him. I have nowhere to go. I'm, I'm, I'm poor. Oh my goodness, that's so sad. I'm so sorry, little ma'ams. Officer Rufus, I don't know what to do. What am I supposed to do? How do people live without a billion dollars? I had like a hundred billion and I still couldn't live properly. I don't really have a whole lot of money, but I like to live my life. Don't worry, little guy. Okay, I'm going to take care of you. I'll be like a babysitter, y'all. Okay, I'm going to take care of you good. Officer Rufus, I love you very much, but if you ever say babysitter around me again, I'll slap those two teeth out of your mouth. <gasps> Oh my goodness, those are only the two I have left, y'all. Neighbor man, oh, I'm so excited. I have to tell you something very, very, very wonderful. Oh, the trillionaire girl, hello, yes, hi, yes, okay. I have good news for you as well, it's very good. You go first. Okay, so I bought out every single place in Brookhaven and I am gonna demolish it all and turn it into my very own playground. Ah, how fantastic. <laughs> oh, it's so funny that you think so. Yes, it's very funny, I laugh a lot. But I, I didn't make a joke. What could be funny? Oh, it's funny because you signed contract with me. So now everything you purchase in Brookhaven belongs to me. <laughs> you see joke now, yes? No, I, I, I don't understand. Oh, let me explain to you. See, here is contract that you signed a real week ago, yes. Now it says, because you are a poor baby and you cannot read, I trick you, yes. Life is not fair, little girl. Ha 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 ha! It is lesson I learned as child when I used to eat bark off tree. You're the worst neighbor ever! I can't believe this! Ah! <laughs> I can't believe this! How could I be so stupid? I trusted that neighbor. He scammed me. He tricked me. <laughs> I can't Oh my goodness, what's going on over here? Ha, why is you crying? That mean neighbor man. He tricked me and now all Brookhaven is his after I thought I bought it. <laughs> oh yes, that man is also so wild. I've been trying to arrest him to law to dime, but I mean, he's got so much money, he just honestly just always escape y'all. I'm sorry that he tricks you. Unbelievable, who would do such a thing to a trillionaire like me? can't believe it. Just wait until I tell my father and he gets all of his 24 lawyers involved. Well, Annie, it looks like you learned your lesson the hard way, huh? What? What are you talking about? What lesson? Yeah, when I first moved to Brookhaven, I thought that having all the money in the world was the most important thing. But what I didn't realize is that it's not. It's the relationships that you build. It's the quality of life that you have. It's what you give back to other people. Money can change you. You just don't understand. All I wanted to do was make my father proud, and now look at me. I'm a nobody, just like you, baby billionaire. Hey, hey, watch it, watch it. I still have millions. Yes, but also I have, like, basically no monums at all. But I'm still a good person, that I have nice days, y'all. You can still make your daddy proud just by being who you is. Really? You think so? Well, if that's the case, then I'm really sorry for how I acted. I didn't mean to be such a, a showy trillionaire. It's all right, Annie. I understand what it's like to have money go completely to your head. I have lots of things go to my heads, like rocks and trees and branchums and things like that. So I don't understand a lot. You are one weird man. But enough of this. I, I need to go call my father. 
Okay, good luck trying to fix everything. I hope you get that neighbor man's in trouble, y'all. <laughs> I must say, it feels very nice to have a trillion dollars. I mean, I already have millions and millions because I'm very wealthy. But it is nice to have a little bit of chump change to just throw around. <laughs> and also, Brookhaven is now mine. Again. <laughs> Hi there, creepy ma'ams. Toothless idiot, what are you doing in house? Also, who is very well dressed gentleman? Hello, hi, I'm Annie's dad. Who is this Annie you'll speak of? Oh, you know the little girl that you made the sign a contract? <laughs> are you that stupid, man? Are you that stupid? Oh, you are baby trillionaire's father. Hello, yes, okay, nice to meet you. Okay, bye, get out of house. No, we ain't going nowhere. That's right, Officer Rufus. See, you made my daughter sign a contract. And the thing is, our family lawyer was not present. You realize you can't make a child sign a contract, right? It's basically null and void. What is you say, huh? And he's just a baby. She literally can't sign anything without parental permission. And uh, trust me, I'm not giving you permission to do anything. In fact, we're taking back all of my daughter's money. That's right. This Tom's used the dum-dum now. Okay, you wasn't using your brimes. Yeah, and actually, Officer Rufus is here because you're going to jail. What? That's right. You is going to get arrested and you going to jail, dum-dums. 